YouTube, James here, and today going to be having an unbox from Amazon, and it is pretty cool. Christine told me not to shake the box or drop it, so whatever's in here is probably pretty fragile, so let's see what it could be. By the way, how's everybody doing? Hope everybody's day is going pretty good. These things are actually pretty fun. Pop them, my dogs get scared. It's kind of fun. And some odd reason this box is opened. Off the bat, I don't know why. So Christine got an open box. Oh, and here's going to be the giveaway. Don't really need to unbox it, but there's a probe with the other end. It's pretty beefy. <laughs> and power cord. And ta-da! There it is, ultrasound machine. So, going to be having to read this, figure it out. Looks pretty cool. It's like little carry size. It's heavy, actually. Okay, that's it for in the box. And get that out of the way. Give this an open. Oh, dead off. That's pretty nifty. And I'm not going to be the one touching this contraption here. Everything I touch always seems to break. So this is Christine's toy. This is what she's going to use to check the snakes and whatnot. Useful tool, I guess. All right, how's it going YouTube and this is the second part of the unbox. As you saw, the ultrasound machine we got, we, uh, it didn't do quite everything we wanted it to do. So we sent it back. Hence, you don't get to see the use of it. But this one, Christine done more research and found the machine she wanted because the other one was just a quick, I guess, spur of the moment buy without much research. So, oh, a bag with a case and another box. And have some pretty cool stuff to show you, too, when we're testing this machine out. My friend Jacob from Zamar Reptiles made us a cool plaque, and um, he did a very good job on it. So, it's in the snake room, and we can show that off. If I can get this out. Well, Whoa. That wasn't the machine I thought. No. The machine's right here. Pretty cool. It is just looks like a little, well, laptop kind of look. Quite a bit cooler, a lot lighter than the other one we unboxed. But the other one wouldn't hook up to the computer 
couldn't get the pictures to transfer onto a computer and uh, that way to print out pictures or whatnot. So um, this one could do all that. And it, the other one didn't come with a case and this one came with a nice case. So be able to have a nice safe place to store it. I have no clue which way any of this goes, but let's see. Got the power cord, the probe, and battery. That explains that big void on the other side of the machine. So there's the battery for it. And the rest of the power cord. So that's what all it came with and the booklet on how to use it. So quickly look through it, read it, figure out how this one works and go give it a shot. And been absent on YouTube for a little bit, but um, been making pens and whatnot, and all the pens are cool, but this one being called Snakewood, I figured it was worthy to show off. Can't really tell if it's, you could see the grain on it, but that's Snakewood, and my buddy Jacob and I, I taught him how to teach to turn a pen. So he's been coming over. We've been turning pens a lot. That's some of the reason I haven't posted anything. And here's some that I've made, but they sell pretty quick. This is like most of my fourth and fifth batches that are up for sale and what not that I sell around here but um they've been selling like hot cakes I just wanted to show you snake wood Jacob and I are gonna make a nice snake wood pen and we're probably gonna video it and show you the process it's the hardest wood there is for hardwoods to work with and the most expensive wood so it's very pretty alright got this bad boy plugged in um, I found that just straight old, this is like knockoff brand KY jelly, actually works a lot better than the actual ultrasound gel that we have used before. I don't even know where it is to show you, but this stuff, much cleaner, much better. Yeah, that Which? stuff. This stuff works too, but it's, it's thinner and it makes your probe slide around all crazy. Um, and it's expensive. So yeah, KY, good old KY. Down. So just gonna lather that on. Look at that nice, massively huge follicle. That's taking up the entire screen. So she should ovulate pretty much any second now. Can you hit the freeze for me? Yeah. Where is freeze? It's like a snowflake. Okay. All right, so now we froze that picture. What I like about this ultrasound that the other one that we had doesn't, didn't do is you can actually plug a mouse, like a computer mouse into it. Oh, you know it? No, I'm retarded. The mouse isn't turned on. Oh. Dur, dur, dur. There's a mouse fail. There you go. 
Oh, I love this guy. So I just hit measure and I'm gonna go from the edge here. Come on, distance. The edge here to there. I can come from here to there. I think I can, no, I can't move it. So it looks like, see if I can't zoom in on here so you can see better. We have thirty-seven, thirty-five. So she's really close to forty millimeter follicles. She should be ovulating any day now, which is exciting. I didn't know she. I didn't even have any idea she was this far along. Um, she was paired the first time. Don't hurry away yet. I paired her to a pewter. But he didn't really seem too interested. I don't know if he even got the deed done. So I paired her to my um, Coral Glow, Pastel Coral Glow. And he has locked with her like a madman. So I'm confident he's going to win. Now I figure out how to save this. Okay. So now I'm going to try to count him. Lose me look. Hopefully you guys can see what I'm seeing. Probably not. So there's the first one. We have one weird looking one. Two. Three. Four. Five. Running out of gel. Fighting me a little here. Six. Looks like six. six. So it looks like we're looking at six eggs from this girl. And uh, so that's pretty cool. I'm not going to bore you with the rest of them. All right. And I was saying how my buddy from Zamora Reptiles made me a plaque. There it is. He done an awesome job. Just kidding as I almost drop it, but he carved it and all that. Done an awesome job. We're very happy to have it. And right now it's just sitting on top of the rack, but I'm going to hang it on the wall. But he done a very good job. And the other thing that I done since I've been away from YouTube for the month. Sorry, I haven't posted any videos. Is our big, huge rack that we got? I've made a few dividers for our tubs. That way, some of the smaller snakes, not in such a big tub, keep them a little more secure as they're growing. So, I just had some expanded PVC still lying around from other stuff built so I decided to make these and they've been working quite well so just a little bit of catch up like I just showed you the pens and stuff this just some little stuff that's been keeping me busy and that's it for that remember like subscribe comment and see you in the next video